The function a of n gives the amount of water remaining in a play pool after n minutes. Consider the graph of a of n shown below. Looking at the graph, notice how we have time in minutes along the horizontal axis, and we have the amount of water in gallons along the vertical axis. Notice how we have tick marks every 10 units or 10 gallons, which means every grid mark would be two gallons. So notice how here at the top, we would have 30, 32, 34, 36 gallons of water in the pool at time zero. Now looking at the horizontal axis, notice how at this point here, the time would be nine minutes. After nine minutes, we can see there would be zero gallons of water in the pool, and the pool would be empty. We are asked to complete each of the following. All answers must include correct units of measure. So the units will either be in minutes or in gallons. We are first asked to determine the function value a of two, where two is the input, or two is the time in minutes. To find this function value, we locate two on the horizontal axis, which is here, and go straight up to the graph. This is the point on the graph where the input or number of minutes is two minutes. To find the corresponding output or function value, from this point, we move horizontally to the vertical axis, which is here, and notice how this would be where we have 22, 24, 26, 28 gallons of water, where the output is 28. So A of two is equal to 28, and the units are gallons. So after two minutes, there are 28 gallons of water in the pool. Next, A of n equals 20 when n equals blank. So here we're given the function value of 20, which is the output, and we want to find n, the input. To do this, we locate 20 on the vertical axis, which is here, and move horizontally to the graph. This is the point on the graph where the output or number of gallons of water is 20, and our goal is to find the input, or n, which is the number of minutes. To find n, or the number of minutes, from here we move directly down or vertically to the horizontal axis, where we can see the input is four. So now we know when the output is 20, the input must be four, and the units would be minutes. So a of n equals 20 when n equals four minutes. And now we're asked to determine the practical domain and practical range given the situation, which are the domain and range that make sense in this situation. Remember the domain is a set of all possible inputs, which we find along the horizontal axis here. So analyzing the horizontal axis, notice how to the left, the time in minutes starts at zero when the pool is full, and then goes out to nine minutes when the pool is empty, which means the practical domain is going to be n, greater than or equal to zero minutes, and less than or equal to nine minutes. And now to determine the practical range, we will look at the vertical axis, which is here. We said earlier, at the start, the pool had 36 gallons of water in it, and then after nine minutes, it was empty or had zero gallons of water, which means the possible outputs are going to be from zero gallons of water all the way up to 36 gallons of water. So the practical range is A of n greater than or equal to zero gallons of water and less than or equal to 36 gallons of water. I hope you found this helpful.